Уважаемая публика, и прямо сейчас я представляю вам поединок в первом среднем весе. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight and the first man wait three rounds of three minutes plus extra round. The referee in the ring is referee в ринге Коран Шимарина from Serbia. А в красный угол Приглашается. I'm inviting to the red car, Stanislav Kazantsev. Here we go with our main card of the night. Stanislav Kazantsev will be coming in first. He's fighting out of the red corner. He is from Odessa, Ukraine, 71 kilograms, 176 centimeters, 26 years old. He's an Orthodox fighter, 23 fights, 19 victories, 7 by knockout, 4 losses. His trainer is Maxim Baskakov, and he fights out of MMA club number one. And I tell you right now, Stas Kazantsev is quick, he will utilize the ring, and he's got an amazingly powerful leg and very good boxing skills. And right now, we're waiting for Stas to enter the ring. He will be taking on a very tough opponent that may be one of his toughest opponents yet and Marco, the doctor, Adamovich. Now, Marco looks young. It doesn't look like he belongs really in the ring. You know, doesn't look doesn't like a fighter. But I'll tell you right now, that kid can fight. And he is from Belgrade, Serbia, 71 kilograms, 178 centimeters, 22 years old, Orthodox, 22 fights, 17 victories, eight by way of knockout, and five losses. So this should be an exciting start to our last six main event fights. And I tell you right now, I am excited. Quickly, while we wait, let's give a shout out to our sponsors. We got Mitz Group of Company. Of course, we got World of Box, Green Hill for giving all of the equipment for tonight, Echo Siniege. We have the Renaissance Hotel. And of course, W5 Promotions, who have organized this whole event and put it together. And that, we would say, you can check out more at W5Kick.tv. I'm an agent of the blue car, Marco Adamovich. W5kick.com, W5kick.tv, and you can find all of their, uh, I'm sorry, and it is available, you can get their app on Google, Android, or Android and iOS. Huh. So, with all that said, are we ready for a wonderful nah, main card tonight? This could go like down it. as one of the best main cards in kickboxing this year, and we've only started the season. Yeah, yeah. And here he comes, Marko Adamovich. Everybody trying to kill me. And he fights out of Misa Ronin. I know Misa, he's a great trainer, very nice guy fighting out of Serbia, and there is some, a lot of talent in Serbia. We have, we've seen a lot of Serbian fighters here at W5, follow them, and there is a lot of talent. Very, very good boys, strong fighters. So it'll be exciting to see who wins this one. Neither fighter will back down from each other. Both fighters can take punches, both fighters are strong. So, I'm very excited. And the red car fought at 26 years old, 176 centimeters. The official weight fought on 70.4 kilograms. His professional record is 23 fights, 19 wins, 7 victories by way of knockout and 4 defeats. Его профессиональный рекорд 23 поединка, 19 побед, 7 из них одержаны нокаутом при 4 поражениях. Представитель клуба номер один Украина, Одесса, the representative of Kamar Club number one, Одесса, Ukraine, Stanislav. И все не могло боец, которому 22 года. Его рост 178 сантиметров, и его официальный вес 
70 килограммов 900 граммов. Его профессиональный рекорд 22 поединка при 17 победах, 8 из которых одержаны нокаутом и 5 поражениях. 22 years old, 176 centimeters. The official weight fighter, 70.9 kilograms. His professional record is 22 fights, 17 wins, 8 victories by the knockout, and 5 defeats. The representative of Belgrad, Serbia, ladies and gentlemen, Marco Dr. Adamovich. <laughs> Fighters, play the middle of the ring. Here we go. Fighters are in the center of the ring. We get their final instructions. Thank you. We'll be on our way. This could definitely be one of Stas's. Biggest competitors to date. Marco straight away opening it up with a low late with a low kick. Nice low kick by Marco. You can hear the power in his leg as well. Both fighters, I believe, are very evenly matched in strength. Nice block by Marco. In Stas Kazansa's last fight against Devilman, he uh, was able to hit, stick and move, stick and move, and win by Nanem's decision. Right now you can see that Stas is in the center of the ring, not really moving around. It's Marco moving around. And the few punches and kicks that these guys have exchanged so far, you can see the power from both of them. Immensely strong fighters. They both come from very good schools of kickboxing. Nice block again by Mark. He's doing a good job of blocking that mid kick by Stas. Stas trying to use his legs. Stas does have a tendency sometimes to go more boxing later round, second, third round. Good inside low kick by Marco. Another inside low kick by Marco. He's really working those low kicks. Smart move. Weaken those legs, those strong legs of Stas Kazantsev. And right now he's doing a great Marco's doing, doing a wonderful job early on here, making Stas either miss or making him hit his arms. Stas trying to go with those big right hook. Marco blocking him. Another low kick by Marco. Right now here in the first round, Marco has a strategy. Weaken those legs. Nice right by Marco. That one caught Stas in the chin. Stas not really being so accurate right now and not able to land his punches or kicks. Marco looking low. Oh, nice left hook by Marco. That one caught Stas as well. Very good short left hook. That is not a knockdown. More of a push, if anything. Stas just missing that big left hook. Marco left his right arm down and wide open. Both fighters are experienced enough. One sees a mistake, they will try to exploit it. Nice exchange of jabs. Stas trying to get Marco on the ropes. Not really putting anything behind his punches. Marco doing a great job of really blocking and protecting himself. Oh, nice knee to the midsection by Stas to end the round there. Marco, I think, has a slight advantage in that round. Stas looking over in his corner from where I'm sitting, looks a bit frustrated. He doesn't understand, he just can't seem to get up. A timing down of where to hit him, when to throw it. And he really wasn't landing what he should have been landing.
Looking at the replay, you see that big right hook just missing, and then countered by a nice left hook by Marco. And those counters are the ones you really have to be worried about. Fighters. Here we go. Second round is about to kick off. Drive the corners. The second round. Third round. Marco definitely has a get. Oh, there's a jab. Is that a knockdown or was his leg up and he kind of just pushed back? Marco definitely has a strategy right now. You can see that he's following through with it. Team with those low kicks. Stas right now going to the body. He's going to try and break that defense. He's got the power to wear down those arms. Oh, a nice left by Marco. Stas again missing a couple of his shots. Nice low kicks by Marco. He's just going after that low kick, low kick. Stas in the zone, nice mid kick. I can hear that all the way down here. And these guys are not super far away, but far enough. You can just feel the power every time these guys punch and kick each other. Ah, oh, Stas with a big swinging right and missing it. Marco doing a great job protecting his head, keeping his defense up, blocking a lot of these kicks and punches. Stas hasn't done much in the low area, the low leg area of Marco. He wants to weaken his arms, hit him in the midsection. You have to drop those elbows. Stas, as you can see, it's really boxing. His only kick so far has been a mid kick. Oh, he's missing that big overhand right as well. Stas definitely more active. Nice left hook by Marco. Stas more active. He is landing punches. Most of them are blocked, but he's throwing a lot more, and he isn't letting Marco really catch his breath to counter. Nice mid kick again by Stas. Got a little blood coming out of the nose of Marco Adamovic. He posed a problem for breathing. Stas had Marco's head down. He was going to try and bring that knee up. 30 seconds in the second round. Even second round. Nice straight leg kick by Marco. Nice right by Marco. Stas not stunned at all. Nice left by Stas. And there's that knee to the midsection. One knee on a clinch. Good left jab by Stas. High kick blocked by Marco. Ten seconds left here in the second round. Both fighters should get out of the second round. Marco looking in danger. He's taking those knees. He's blocking him, but he's taking them. And now Marco doesn't seem to have an answer for Stas. As Stas has laid out a barrage of punches and kicks, even if they were blocked. He didn't really allow Marco to catch his breath and do anything. See what happens in the third round and who has the advantage coming into this one. But what I thought was Marco's advantage now seems to be Stas' advantage. See right now, their niece is over there in the corner trying to cool him down. Two very good schools, two extremely talented fighters, two great trainers going head to head here to start off our main event. And I can't rave about both of these fighters enough. I've seen them numerous times and they're both extremely tough and talented. Fighters. Here we go. Remember that this is three minutes for three rounds. Three rounds by three minutes. There is a possibility for an extra fourth round if the judges deem that the first three rounds end in a tie. The third round. But as far as we know, this is the last round. Stas, I have, I have Marco in round one. I have Stas in round two. It looks like Mar uh, Marco's becoming a little bit unhinged. 
a little bit frustrated now. Stas seemed a little bit more poised. Stas is now at his second warning. Can't toss or throw. One knee and a clinch. Marco's got to do something. He's got to counter Stas' powerful knee into the midsection. It looks like those mid kicks, all those shots in the midsection are finally beginning to take hold of Marco. Nice high kick by Stas, and Marco goes down right on the chin. It didn't even look that hard, but it caught him square from the back of the head to the chin. And that right now is Stas' fight to lose. What a great high kick. Marco's arm came down. Nice combination by Stas. Marco's wobbly. Stas is going for the knockout. Here we go, baby. Another right by Stas. Uppercut by Stas. Marco trying to stay on his feet, but those combinations are hurting him. Oh, what an uppercut by Stas. And there's the knee by Stas. It's going to be lights out. What a right by Marco. And that one stunned Stas. Oh, baby, we got a fight on our hands. Marco just got his energy back and his confidence. And Stas now trying to clinch him to regain his composure. What a right. Another right by Marco. Come on, Marco. Get in there. Another left by Marco. He's one tough cookie, that's for sure. Another right by Marco. Stas is stunned, that's for sure. He's got no power in those legs. Somebody do something because one of you want to go down. Marco being knocked down is now losing this fight, in my opinion. He needs something bigger and better to win this fight. And he definitely stunned Stas. Stas looking all right, a little wobbly, but both fighters look wobbly right now. With less than a minute to go, what a battle here in the third round. A knockdown for almost a knockdown. What a right uppercut by Marco! And Stas comes in with that knee again. And that one's stunning Stas. Nice high kick blocked by Marco. Marco gets one or two more of those uppercuts in, or big punches. He might end up at getting Stas on the mat, at least for a knockdown. With 30 seconds left, he's got to do something, because I think he's going to lose this fight with the way it's being played out right now. Oh, he missed how to go with that big right and just missed it. With 10 seconds left. A low kick, it looks like. Stas Kazanza might walk away with a victory here by unanimous decision. I would give it to him just on the knockdown. I give him two rounds to one. What a completely different fight from the first round and the second, where Marco in the first round thought looked like he was controlling the fight. And Stas came back and put on a great performance. Congratulations to both fighters. You can see they stood there and they delivered each other a lot of punches. These are not two fighters that back away from a challenge or a brawl. And they always bring the excitement. And that was a great opening fight to our main event tonight. Now we wait for the judges to tally up the points. And then we will get our first decision of our main card out of the way. Is the knockdown the deciding factor in this score? I think it is. Let's go to Oleg Navijan, our ring announcer, for the decision. The winner by an decision, the fighter from the Red Card. 
congratulations to Sas Kazanza. It's been nothing taken away from the foul that Marko Adamovic gave him because he definitely stunned him and put him on his, well, put him on the ropes a couple times. A great fight between these two warriors, and it did not displease. It was a very fun fight, and it's what I expected for our main event. Alexei Koliakov will be interviewing Stas Kazanza right now. How do you feel about this fight? Um, first round, I think I uh, didn't do so much work, uh, but I kept myself good. But uh, then uh, I came back, and uh, it was good that I had a knockdown in, in round three as well. Sergey, um, you worked a lot on his midsection. Was that the original plan to soften him up a little bit and then go for the um, high kick? Вы изначально работали по телу. Это был такой изначально такой такой план боя и был, и что потом уже перейти на верхний этаж? Нет, мы не было такого плана по корпусу это обрабатывать, но соперник держал руки так, что грех будет не ударить. Um, I didn't have a plan to work the body all the time, but uh, my opponent hand, held his hands this way that it allowed me to attack it. Well, thank you for an excellent performance. It was a pleasure watching your fight, and we're looking forward to more fights of you in W5. Thank you. Thank you.